We are recording. Hey, welcome back. This is the sixth week in our series Christianity 101. Uh, so I want to share a few things with you, uh, make a couple of questions that you can uh, talk about in your group, and then hopefully you can go and talk and pray together. Uh, so uh, a, a survey was done uh, in, by Gallup 2016, uh, and 75% uh, pe of people said they can be saved by keeping the Ten Commandments. So that seems to be the, uh, what most people believe. And so I want to talk today about how can we be saved? How can we be made right with God? How can we be sure we're going to heaven? Uh, if you go down the streets of Portland and uh, interview people, most people, you ask them, are, are you going to heaven? Most people will say, yes, I am. So I want you to turn to somebody near you and discuss for a moment, why do most people think they're going to heaven? All right, just a second. Let me level this out a little better. All right, whenever you're ready, you can continue. All right, the Apostle Paul, in his great work, Romans, in chapter 3, addresses the subject, how can we be saved? Uh, starting in verse uh, 21, uh, uh, this could be the greatest paragraph ever written. But now, apart from the law, the righteousness of God has been made known, to which the law and prophets testify. This righteousness is given through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There's no difference between Jew and Gentile. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That's a well-known verse. And all are justified freely by His grace through the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. God presented Christ as a sacrifice of atonement through the shedding of His blood to be received by faith. He did this to demonstrate His righteousness because in His forbearance He had left the sins committed beforehand unpunished. He did it to demonstrate His righteousness at the present time so as to be just and the one who justifies those who have faith, those who have faith in Jesus. Where then is boasting? It is excluded. Because of what law? The law that requires works. No, because of the law that requires faith. For we maintain that a person is justified by faith apart from the works of the law. So that's Romans 3, uh, 21 uh, to 28. Uh, Paul says we're saved by grace through faith. So how can we be saved? How can we know we have a relationship with God? Paul says we're saved by grace through faith. Uh, then in verse 31 of chapter 3, Paul says, Do we then nullify the law by this faith? Not at all. Rather, we uphold the law. So people said, well, if we can't be saved by keeping the law, th then is it unimportant? Do we nullify it? So uh, I want you to turn and, and talk to your neighbor uh, this question. If... If we can't be saved by keeping the law, why did God give us the law? Why did God give us the Old Testament and the New Testament if we can't be saved by keeping it? All right, once you discuss that, just go ahead, discuss with your group. If you're using our journals, go through those, pray together, have a great time. Thanks. That's it. <laughs>